Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Daz's Top 20 Selling Comic Books of the Week, Episode 63. And today I'm going to be discussing the best selling comics on eBay for the week of the 6th of March, 2020. Since CoverPrice.com came on the scene, they've become a go-to spot for watching eBay trends on comics. And they scour thousands of eBay sales to combinate data to spotlight the hottest selling books. Let's find out if you can beat me. Most people normally do. Starting in, of course, at number 20 on our list this time round. It is a book from 1993. It is a book I have just found a second copy of and sold it within a couple of days. It comes from Valiant. We've had the trailer for Bloodshot. The book in question, Bloodshot issue number one. Yeah. This is the first ever Chromium cover in comic books. And it is the first solo series to Bloodshot. This book sold 19 copies at a seven day trend of plus 70% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $60. I'm not the biggest Vin Diesel fan, but uh, I'm looking forward to the Bloodshot movie. He has stated that it will open the doorway for the big Valiant universe, which is great stuff. Gorgeous Barry Windsor Smith art. And uh, there is a pull out poster from him in the center of this book. I paid £2.75 for my copy in the middle of 2017. Like I say, I found another copy just recently for 89p and flipped it for about eight quid. So happy days. Number 19 on our list, guys. And recently I picked up the first appearance of Jenica. Yeah, I've got the first and second prints. And this book has been seeing a little bit of heat. This is Jenica issue one from IDW. And this is the Williams one in 25 incentive guys. Like I say, I don't get a chance at these incentives. Uh, so I would never have the opportunity. I can't imagine too many people will have picked that one up. Well, it sold 18 copies, had a seven day trend of plus 90%. And a high sale raw went for $39.99. Like I said, that was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Jenica issue one, the Williams variant. And talking of variants, number 18 on our list, guys. This is a book I saw in my LCS up on the shelf for £9. I wasn't too impressed because it was just came out that day, I believe. And uh, I don't really think that shops should be up in their prices, but it is what it is. The book in question, Venom, issue 23. The first appearance of Donny Cates in comics. <laughs> and Ryan Stegman, I believe. I'm not a big Scotty Young fan, but he does have an audience. Well, it sold 19 copies at a seven day trend, a plus 89% and a high sale raw went for $21. So maybe nine wasn't that much that bad a price for that venom 23 young variant 17 on our list a lot of excitement about this character at the moment now if you've seen a couple of little pictures of the black widow film you would notice that she is holding a red test tube and it seems by all accounts that this character is coming to the MCU quite probably in the She-Hulk TV series from what I am reading. The book in question from 2008, Hulk, issue number one. Yeah, the first appearance of the Red Hulk, General Thaddeus Ross, yes. But only the cover, he only appears on the cover of this book. So issue two is where you first see him in the interior pages. It's also the death of the abomination, who is of course M.L. Blonsky. This is the regular Ed McGuinness cover. Well, it sold 17 copies at a seven day trend of plus 116% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for a very nice 306 bucks. I have found several copies of this and I've never paid much more than a quid. I paid a pound for this one. And uh, that was in the back end of 2018. Like I say, they're nice to flip these books. But I did pick up this book with uh, a con and I'm very excited. I've showed it before. This is the uh, 1 in 50 from Ed McGuinness variant 
to Hulk issue number one, and this was limited to just 1,500 copies. Uh, with a press, this could be a 9-8 candidate. So uh, excited to see where this book goes. Number 16 on our list, guys. And uh, everything Wolverine is quite hot at the moment. Now, from what I've been reading, they've been offering big money to get Hugh Jackman back in the role. How fantastic would that be? Do I think it'll happen? Probably not. Um, but uh, anything's got to be better than the supposed Daniel Radcliffe. And then recently we've had talk of even Henry Cavill playing the part. I could see Henry Cavill doing a great job with Wolverine, but he's a brilliant Superman, so I would hate to lose him from DC. But like I said, Wolverine is hot at the moment. And this book that came out this year, the Ross variant. And it's a nice cover. That's your book, guys. Wolverine, issue one, the Ross variant. Yeah, Alex Ross puts out some stunning covers. Well, that book sold 19 copies at a seven-day trend, a plus 105%, and a high sale raw went for $9.50. And we're sticking with Wolverine for issue uh, for number 15 on our list. And this time, we have the Delotto variant. I actually prefer this one. This is a stunner. There's your book, guys. Coming out of the water. Looking pretty mean. Do like that. Well, that Delotto variant sold 21 copies. And it had a seven-day trend of plus 100%. And a high sale raw went for $55.55. A decent price for that incentive now we moving on and we're talking number 14 on our list and it is a store on our list renewed talks of jamie fox and that spawn led movie spawn issue number one from 1992 a brilliant book so many first appearances Got the first appearance of Jason Wayne, Mel Boglia, Wanda Fitzgerald. They were all in that B movie from the 90s, the Spawn movie. I've got it in my collection. I need to rewatch it. We've got the first appearance of Sam and Twitch and Stephen Percival. The second title published by Image Comics. Gorgeous McFarlane artwork. And it sold 13 copies at a seven day trend of plus 181%. And a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $115.25. I paid £1.31 from the legend that is Car Boot Tony at the start of 2018. He came around my house with a ton of good books and I filled my boots. Right, moving on. We have. 13 on our list and it is a character that's getting a lot on spec talk at the moment because someone has posted that he is going to be this character is going to be appearing in the cap uh, the falcon and the winter soldier which i find very very odd i mean i've looked and i can't find too much uh, news on it the book in question is the new stand variant too X-Men issue four, of course. The first appearance of Omega Red. Now, if you have seen Deadpool 2, the mo uh, movie, if you go to the deleted scenes, I believe you will see Omega Red in that movie. But I'm not so sure he is going to be appearing in the MCU. Well, that new stand variant sold 14 copies at a seven day trend of plus 152% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $299.95. That is a mass produced book, but it's got an audience. I keep finding them and I've flipped a couple. Um, they are out there, don't overpay. Number 12 on our list. And we are talking a recent title from this year. We are talking a Donny Cates book. And this is Thor issue number two. Yep, yeah, I think it's all to do with Black Winter. Now, I'm not reading this title, so I couldn't tell you. But um, 
This book has been hot. It sold 18 copies at a seven day trend of plus 119% and a high sale raw went for $14.99. So that leaves number 11 on our list and the first runner up to our big top 10. And uh, it is a big book. It's a book that's on my radar, but I'm not gonna be paying silly money for it. I'm gonna maybe wait so the second movie comes out and from that you'll guess it comes from 1988 the book in question gorgeous cover amazing spider-man of course issue 300 the first full appearance of venom i've got uh i think it's 200 and I can never work it out whether I've got 298 or 299, but I've got one of them. I know that. I think that's the first cameo, isn't it? Well, that book sold 11 copies at a seven day trend of plus 222% and a high sale uh, raw. High sale raw went for $2,000. $2,000 for a raw issue. That is insanity. Insanity. I wouldn't pay more than 200, I don't think. But there we go. You got the money, I suppose. It's no object. Mental money. Right, so we're into the big top 10, guys. And starting in at number 10 on our list this time round is another store. And it keeps popping up. And it is, of course, Ultimate Fallout issue number four. The first appearance of Miles Morales, the star of the Spider Verse. We're getting him in the sequel. There are talks that he is going to be in the MCU at some point. To me, it's just a matter of time. Yeah. We also, uh, in this issue, Reed Richards becomes the maker, a turning point where an evil Richards explains his new philosophy to, of the world to the children of tomorrow. Now, uh, this is a death of the Spider-Man tie-in, and uh, I grabbed this the day it was announced for the Spider-Verse. This book sold 12 copies this past week and an average raw sale price now of $121. I passed a second copy uh, a con in Cheltenham for I think I could have got it for 40 I also uh, passed on a copy a couple of years ago for 20 where I think I could have got it for 15 my mate picked it up sold it in his shop for 50 quid a, a week or so later so go figure I'm too nice at times but uh, I'm glad he did well but I paid £13.90 for my copy and that was in the uh, 8th of March 2018 it's a solid, solid copy. So, uh, yeah, delighted to own that one. Number nine on our list is a book I wouldn't mind owning, but uh, there's nothing too key about it other than the first solo title. And that book is heating up, of course, because we've had news that Sony are apparently going to be making a Spider-Woman movie. And it is a book, I'm, I'm not surprised, it's a book that I've been specking on for some time, and that's Marvel 32, uh, Marvel Spotlight 32, the first appearance of Spider-Woman. Well, I just need to get one now for the right price. But the book this time that I'm talking about is Spider-Woman issue number one. That is our number nine on our list this time around, guys. It comes from 1978. And, uh... This is a book that pops up from time to time on my list. It sold 32 copies at an average price of $79.23 in a 9.6 graded condition. Okay, so uh, graded 9.6s, we're going for $79.23, but when all 32 copies were sold. Number eight on our list is a book I made a hot comic book alert about. I hope you didn't sleep on this one. I think it's got big legs going forward with the universe that is Star Wars. And that is because we are getting, at the end of the year, a High Republic uh, book uh, invasion, basically, of novels and uh, graphic novels and comics. Uh, I urge you to go and watch the teaser trailer. It's exciting stuff. For me, it's just a matter of time. They've put the Skywalker saga to bed. Now we're going to go 200 years prior to the Phantom Menace with the High Republic. And uh, the book in question is Rise of Kylo Ren, issue three, the Landini 1 in 25 variant. And why is this one heating up? 
Well, I've read my, my uh, regular copy. This is the first appearance or cameo appearance of Avar Chris. Now, Avar Chris is going to be leading the Jedi, I believe, in that High Republic era. She is a, a blonde lady and uh, she appears in, spoiler, in a holocron in Rise of Kylo Ren. The variant cover for that hugely popular Star Wars series sold 27 copies at an average raw price of $36. Oh, I nearly bought one for $19.99, but I didn't follow through with it. Kind of regret it now because that's going to be a big issue in the Star Wars world going forward. So, number seven on our list is another book that I made a hot comic book alert about. There is rumour that this book has been optioned. And the second time it's been optioned. And uh, apparently it's going to be a, a television series by all accounts. And the news is uh, of an image comic. And the book in question is Todd, the Ugliest Kid on Earth, issue one. Like I say, from Image Comics. There we go. Better look at it, guys. Yep. By all accounts, it's going to be hitting the screen. What can I tell you about it? Well, the news moved 17 copies at an average raw price of $15.57. Fingers crossed that my con still goes ahead on March the 21st. That one will be on my radar. Of course, with the virus spreading, I got a feeling it's going to be cancelled. Number six on our list. I just spoke about it. Star Wars, The Rise of Kylo Ren. The third chapter in what has been a very hot series. This is the regular cover from Clayton Crane, and it's a gorgeous cover. The first cameo appearance of Avar Chris, the female Jedi from the High Republic era. It's also the origin of Ben Solo, a.k.a. Kylo Ren. This one sold 46 copies, an average raw sale price now of $7.39. I picked up two copies, one for me and one for my lad Ethan. Yeah, Uncanny Ethan's back into his comics and all he reads right now is Star Wars. He's got quite a collection. Number five on our list. Well, everything at the moment is punchline mad, isn't it? And I drove to Forbidden Planet in Bristol. It was the first one through the door. I picked up the variant. And I had the regular in my hand. They wouldn't let me buy the regular, so we settled on the variant. And so I thought my LCS had one, a regular copy, but they didn't. So, like I said, I ended up with Batman 89, the Francisco Martina cardstock variant. And... This is the first cameo of Punchline. And the first cameo of the designer. Well, it sold 72 copies, this book, at an average raw price of $31.93. I paid £4.20 for this, but it's not the greatest copy. I don't know. A little bit of a nick up top, so I don't know. Am I ever going to pay 20 30 for a book like this? Not in a million years. So happy to grab it. Some of these prices are getting silly. But, you know, I think uh, Nightwing issue 70 is really hotting up for next week, isn't it? Um, I've tried to pre-order one through my LCS. Fingers crossed I can. I think, is it a battle between Harlequin and Punchline? Summit's really stoking that book up at the moment. Number four in our list. Like I said, everything Punchline is on fire right now. And the variant for the first full appearance, and yes, it is the first full appearance because I have seen CGC cases stating this. Year of the Villain, Hell Arisen, issue number three, guys. There we go. The first full appearance of Punchline is our next book on our list. And that is number four on our list. And... That variant sold 54 copies at an average raw price of $41.45. It's insanity. I suppose the last book really to get these sort of numbers early on was Batman Damned. Well, that's holding its value. Will this one? I'm not so sure. I don't think Punchline's the next Harley. Number three on our list. And... It's basically the only top five book that doesn't have Punchline in it. It's the... First appearance of Omega Red. Yep. 
the record. Uh, this is the um, direct edition, and the Mega Red is Arkady Gregorovich. And like I say, he is rumored to be appearing on the Disney Plus. And news of that moved 101 copies at an average raw price of $18.55. I paid three quid for this, like I said, and that was in the middle of 2017. I've had numerous copies. Get out there, find them, because there are plenty of them, guys. But it would be cool to see Omega Red. Number two on our list, like I said, punchline, punchline, punchline. And it's no surprise that the first cameo punchline is still doing very well. I've shown the Matina cardstock variant. This time we are talking the regular cover. So, of course, Batman issue 89, guys. There we go. That is our number two on our list. No surprises. What can I tell you about it? Because these prices are silly. It sold 209 copies at an average raw sale of $38.82. 209 copies quite possibly could be a world record since I've been doing this in a week. And number one on our list, and you've guessed it, I'm sure you have. Uh, missed out on a copy. This was a title that was getting absolutely zero love until this news dropped. And this is... The first full appearance of Punchline in Year of the Villain, Hella Risen. The regular cover, guys. It's an okay cover. Nothing spectacular in my opinion. But it sold a massive, I just said 209 was the record. Listen to this, guys. That book sold 325 copies. An average raw price of $40.39. So that's it, guys. That's a wrap. Let's have a look. What did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just seven out of 20. I'm going to be destroyed this week, guys. You books killing me as they always do. Thanks for all your support. I currently sit at 792 subscribers. Please, if you like the video, ding that bell. Like it for me. Thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. And subscribe. That's Daz, over and out. Bye for now.